We're back outside doing a moon update. Six days after I made the last video, that was on the 1st of January 2018. It was a full moon and it was meant to be a super moon and I've got to say it was quite bright, but we were getting some outstanding results with temperatures. 45 degrees and plus that. On the plus side, that is not negative values. And that really makes no sense to me because the moon is 230,000 miles away. How is that at all possible? I would expect to see a thermal imprint on the camera and that's exactly what we get but we get to see that spinning and I've analysed that footage and I've come up with some amazing bits and pieces which I will show you and that makes no sense. So like I say it's six days later, today's date is the 7th of January 2018. I would expect to see similar sort of results as what we got last time. Right, let me explain what we can see here. We're using a mode on the camera, it's called full frame, and that gives us the minimum temperature and the maximum temperature that the camera can see at that particular moment in time. Minus 40, that is the maximum I can go down to. The camera doesn't register anything below minus 40. And we've got a top figure here, 70 watt. Yeah, it's just keeps on changing. And it's a bit lower than what it was when we were taking the video on the 1st of January, 72. So I expect to see the similar sort of temperatures to what we got last time. Let's have a look. Minus 33, 35, minus 31, 29, minus 27. That is a great big drop. Let's zoom it in. That's nearly minus 70 degrees. Negative drop. Black and white doesn't really give us much detail. It's actually called black, the filter it's used on the camera. Minus 27. Yeah, totally, totally different. But yet the camera can pick up 66 degrees. Let's head towards the horizon. The temperature comes down. Notice the uh, temperature on the top bar. 32 degrees, that's exactly what you can read. Minus 15, zero, 07. As we go up through the sky, it, the top bar will change. I just need to stop the video there and just point this out because it's a very crucial fact and I don't want to mislead absolutely anybody. The bar at the top, as we know, we get two temperatures and this is because we're using full frame. And we get the base temperature, as we can see, it's minus 40. So somewhere on that picture, it is minus 40. But on the right-hand side, we get a temperature of 32 degrees Fahrenheit. And that is its default setting, even if it's colder. If I point this in the fridge, it will still be 32 degrees Fahrenheit. So it doesn't necessarily mean that something on the screen there is 32 degrees Fahrenheit. If it reads 33, 34, 35, that means that temperature is there. I just needed to clear this up. I hope it helps. Let's have a look at the moon. It's 67%, two thirds illuminated. I really wouldn't expect to uh, see much difference. Maybe a lower temperature, but not a negative 70 degree temperature. Come on, focus, focus. Is it the chemtrails that's causing this? Don't you just love technology? Let's change the filter and put it into Spectrum. Okay, let's just play with the, yeah, 3.7. Nobody will notice. Nothing to see here. Change it into Spectrum like we had the other day. And you can see the top color bar. Red's hot, blue's cold. And you can see that uh, whatever this object is, and this is the moon I'm pointing it at, you can see that it's spinning with different colours. Okay. How we're getting that effect, I'm not rightly too sure. It doesn't look the same as what it did the other day, though. Minus 27. So, like I say, we've gone negative 70 degrees in six days. Is it because of the chemtrails? What we'll do, we'll go outside tomorrow. And we'll have another look and see what we get. 64 degrees. Okay, what's going on? Back outside, seven days after making the first video. Today's date is the 8th of January 2018. 
we can see that the background temperature is minus 36 degrees Fahrenheit. Is that possibly due to the chemtrails? I would have thought that the camera would have maxed out, but uh, it's reading minus 36. Very strange. The top bar tells us minus 40, and the maximum temperature that you can see is 34, 32, 39. So it is varying. Moving it down the horizon a little bit. Let's measure the temperature of the moon. It was minus 27 degrees yesterday. And today our moon is 59%, two thirds illuminated, minus 31 degrees. So that's dropped a negative minus four degrees. So in total, 74 degrees drop in seven days. Why, what is that? I'm looking out the window, that's not a plane, that's not a bug, that's quite big actually. That is something, yeah, okay, it's a bit strange, and we don't talk about strange things on this channel. Anyway, let's get back to the moon. Minus 31, so why did we get a minus 74 degree drop? Let's put spectra on, and we get a better look, and see what's going on. And there you go. It's blue around the edges, and you can see that uh, there's a red, yellow, so it's quite warm on the inside. But the camera is still registering cooler than what it did yesterday by the top bar. Even though it's out of focus, you can see that uh, it seems to be spinning. Is that the moon, or is there an object in front of the moon? Or Yeah. I can actually show you, because I've shown many times, that there's lenses in front of the moon. I'm going to show you some photographs in a minute that uh, look very similar to what you're looking at now. But there can't be knowledge. There's no such technology. It's impossible. Why would they want to hide the planets? Hmm. I think everybody might have a freak out. But we all know there's something wrong. Minus 33. The moon's at 59%, just under two thirds lit. I wouldn't expect a drop like I've seen. Maybe a little bit of variation in temperature, but uh, hey, let me show you something that you find quite interesting. It wasn't off a thermal camera. What I would like to do is show you a clip from a video that I made back in August 2017. It's called Jumping Sun, Square Moon, Red Spinning Planet. I'll leave the links for that in the description box down below, so it's simple for everybody to find. Some of you may have seen this, and some of you may not have. But I believe we've just looked at an object on a thermal camera, and it really does look like it's spinning. Now this clip shows that there's an object in front of the moon, and I believe it to be a lensing system. So it goes hand in hand, but for what reason have they got this system in place? Let's have a look at the clip. Pedersen Hill South East. Date on the camera is Tuesday 8th of August 2017. Time is 23.10. Pictures are every approximately 10 minutes. And I managed to get six pictures. But I think this proves that uh, there's a lensing system in place. I think this is the best proof that I've seen so far. That there is a lensing system in place. If we look at this picture we can see that there's something just here. I've tried to... Uh, Bring the pictures out with using different filters but i'll show you what i found in a minute and we'll go to the next picture and you can see there's some sort of interaction here and there seems to be something here and what is the moon doing you've got to ask yourself and look at this well it's definitely interacting with something in the background there and this is a normal thing to see i've got to point out that if we were standing there looking at it we would not be able to notice this this would be sort of like subtle very very subtle but uh, the camera is just sensitive enough to pick this up when they were making this lensing system they've tested this lensing system out and it absolutely works 100% but they forgot their variables and a variable would be a camera lens I'm just saying and then we get a square moon look at that and this reminds me of a clapometer from one of those old game shows or am I just showing my age now at any rate 
we get to the next picture and there you go that is a normal thing to see on camera and that is how our moon behaves don't think so this to me proves that there's a lensing system in place that looks like there's interaction with this object behind here I've been looking closely at the footage that I got from the 1st of January it was a full moon, a super moon I've zoomed it in and slowed it down and I've found something quite interesting I need to show everybody as you can see the three red dots here indicate that the temperature is 133 degrees at that particular moment in time the outside is purple so it's colder than minus 40 or it is minus 40 we got these two objects here and they're consistently in the same place let me show you what I mean right I'll stop it there we've got these two here we've got these two here and we're gonna get some more what are we looking at another two just here and you can clearly see that they're around the outside they seem to be staying in the same place but the inside seems to be spinning right let me show you a comparison I believe there's eight of these they seem to be in exactly the same place and the center seems to spin if we look at the pictures from the video clip we just looked at we've got the lights around the outside here you can see it's square on the inside and if we look at this picture here it's square on the inside and we've got the lights around the outside are these lights but what I did I phoned seek customer services up and I recorded the phone call but I didn't get his permission to use it so I'm not going to actually play that and it was quite an interesting conversation I did ask the man if he thought it was possible that I could get a temperature from the moon and he went it is a total impossibility for me to measure the temperature of the moon through these crosshairs I said would we get a thermal imprint of the moon he said yes we would he was very perplexed about what I was talking about and I could hear him scratching his head. Don't forget, we're not looking at a conventional picture. This is a picture made up of heat. And the camera puts it all together and makes it into a picture that we can understand. And you can see there's oranges, there's blues, purples. And if we look up here, it gives us what temperature that uh, these colours are. At this particular moment, so it's 135 degrees the red. And we can see just a touch of red just there and there. Are we looking at our moon? I don't believe we're looking at our moon. I believe that we're looking at a lens in front of the moon that's spinning. And you can see the dot. Am I just looking at Pac-Man? <laughs> yeah, okay. And these lights seem to be in exactly the same place, in a constant fashion, all the way around. And there seems to be a total of eight. So when something becomes extremely consistent, especially on a thermal camera, it really starts to make me wonder what we're looking at. And I don't believe that for a second is our moon. It's something that's spinning in front of our moon. And Pac-Man again. Right, I need to just sum this up. I'm looking at something that's artificial and the reason I'm going to say what I'm going to say and my diagnosis of this is because we're using a thermal camera. And a thermal camera works on heat. You can't get abnormalities. The picture is built up of different heat signatures. So on a thermal camera, for these objects to be here consistently, time after time, in the same place, that means that they're there. I'll be looking at some sort of alien technology because when people say to me, well, I can see the moon when I look at it through the telescope, or I can see the sun, I can't see no objects. Well, I've shown you how they hide them. Credit goes out to the University of Rochester for this clip. I believe that this is going to show a similar sort of technology that they're using, but uh, a more advanced system. How to hide something under your nose, right in plain sight. So basically, when you're looking at the moon, that's all you would get to see and the same for the sun. If there was an object in place, this now will demonstrate to you how they're hiding it, I believe. By the use of mirrors and lenses. And I've shown the lens system that's in place, and I've shown the mirror system that's in place.
basically what you're looking at is misdirection optical illusion smoke and mirrors so being truthful it could be right in front of your face and you would never ever see it I think that's a good indication of the lensing system that they've got in place. At any rate, don't take my word for it. Apparently, I'm an utter. I show lens flares and I spend all my time photoshopping pictures and videos. But uh, when many people around the world collaborate with the same sort of pictures, many different videos, and they're showing all the same things, it makes you wonder. Nothing wrong with the world. And if you think there is nothing wrong with the world, go back and watch TV because... Hey, all's fine. Anyway, that's all I've got for you now. Much love, much peace, and I'll catch you next time. Take care.